In this video, I will solve uh, two examples where I use the concept of impedance to analyze state state analysis, uh, state state sinusoidal uh, analysis of electrical circuits. Okay, as you can see, we have an input which is a uh, cosine tau to power 3, so it's a pure cosine signal, and the goal is computing VOT output voltage, of course, under state state uh, conditions, and we will use the concept of impedance. Okay, so uh, what is the impedance of resistor? It's just resistor value, that's fine, so it is equal to 100. What is the impedance of this resistor? It's the same. But what about impedance of the inductor? Okay, so if you remember, okay, that's good. Z L J omega is equal to L times J omega. Okay, that's very great. Is L times J omega? Uh, yes, it's L times J omega, no problem. Okay, so it is J times what is L? 0 0.5, what is the frequency? 10 to the power 3, so it's equal to 500j. Okay, so instead of this, we write 500j. Okay, that's so this is the, like everything that we need to do. Now, we treat this impedance as if it's a resistor circuit and analyze it in a, using classical techniques. Okay, so we have this current, okay, current of the resistor and current of the inductor, and we know that Vi divided by 100 plus Vo divided by 500 plus VO divided by 500 times J is equal to zero. That's great. So let's simplify this a little bit. This is equal to VI plus one over five. Okay, uh, that's nice. One plus one over J times VO is equal to zero. As you can see, we are doing like predictive based computations. The only thing is we are complex numbers. Okay, so one over five. VO times 1 minus J, okay, is equal to minus VI. That's great. So VO is equal to minus 5, that's great, uh, times uh, divided by 1 minus J, which is great, times VI. Okay, that's great. So what I can do is I can uh, multiply the uh, denominator with this complex conjugate. So VO is equal to minus 5, minus 1. Okay, that's great. That's also true. No, it's not minus and plus 1. Oh, plus J, that's great. Okay, divide by square root of 2 times VI. And this is equal to VO. Okay, magnitude is 5 divided by square root of 2. No, it's, it's not square root of 2, it should be 2. For, sorry for this. This is nice. So this is 2. This is 2, and here we have minus 1 minus j v i. Okay, that's great. So we find an expression. Okay, uh, it's v i. That's great. So what is v i? Uh, as you can see, v i is a pure cosine signal, so v i is simply 1. In the phasor domain, of course, it's 1. Okay, so the, what is the magnitude of v i? Uh, v o, okay, the magnitude of v o is equal to 5 divided by 2 times the magnitude of this okay and magnitude of this one uh, is this equal to square root of one plus one so it is equal to five divided by square root of two okay as you can see it's uh, pretty easy so what is the phase magnitude this it doesn't have a phase so phase is the phase of minus one minus j it is here okay so you can use the formula always it's fine but i really uh, find the graphical technique better for many cases okay so this is the technically the place of the complex number, and phase is equal to this, and this is equal to minus 135 degrees. You can also look at it, make it positive, and read, uh, look at this angle. This is also fine, but this is minus 135 degrees. So from this perspective, VO of t is equal to 5 to by the square root of 2 times cosine 10 to the power 3. What is the phase difference? It's minus 135 degrees. If you like, you can also rewrite the radian counterpart. Okay, as you can see, this is correct. Okay, so it's a first order op op circuit. And uh, as you may know, analyzing using the differential locations, it's not hard, but it is like a much uh, harder than uh, phase and impedance domain approach. Okay, that's great. And now we have a different problem. Okay, so let's read the uh, question statement. Using the node voltage methods and the impedances of each element, set up a system of phasor domain equations in terms of nodes A, B, and C. 
Okay. So what are we going to do is we will apply node voltage method in phaser domain. Okay. So let's uh, write the uh, technically the impedances. So uh, as you can see, one ohm, one farad, one Henry. Okay. And input is vi cosine t. So first of all, let's start with input. Input is simply equal to one. Okay. Because it's the base cosine signal, we just make it one. That's great. Resistances are technically there is no change in the impedance, so they are all one. Okay, one, one, here one. Okay, that's great. So what about L? Uh, if you remember, resistance is J omega. Okay, so I know that this is equal to J because uh, what's omega? Omega is equal to one. Okay, that's also nice. So what about capacitances? Capacitance and resistance, if you remember, is equal to one over C times J omega. So if you write it, we will find that it will equal to minus J minus j okay let's look at here as you can see this is correct so what are we going to do is we will technically apply classical node voltage method nothing else that's it okay so v a minus one divided by one let's write one okay plus v a divided by minus j that's great v a minus v b divided by one is equal to zero Okay, that's great. So let's write it here. So VA, okay, has one. Okay, this is minus J, it becomes plus J and one. Okay, let's simplify this. So it should be equal to two plus J, that's great, plus VB, what's the coefficient? Minus one is equal to one. Okay, this is our first equation. That's great. Okay, let's clean the other one and let's write and node voltage for the VB. Okay, so VB minus VA divided by one is the same thing. VB divided by minus J plus VB minus VC divided by J is equal to zero. Okay, that's great. Okay, now uh, let's simplify things. No, no, we can just simply write that. Okay, so what is the coefficient of VA? It's equal to minus one. Okay, that's great. We know that. So let's write VB here. VB's coefficients are 1, okay, plus J. Okay, that's also good because it's 1, it's plus J, and this is minus J. Okay, so as you can see, they cancel each other, which can happen because we have a negative impedance and it's possible. Okay, so it is equal to 1 VB. I think it's going great. So what about VC? Vc is equal to minus 1 over j, so it's equal to j. Vc is equal to 0. I think we are in a good condition. Okay, so let's check it like this. Okay, so Va is minus 1, that's easy. Vb is equal to 1 plus j minus j. Okay, that's great, so you can see that it's equal to 1. And let's look at Vc. It is simply minus 1 over j, which is equal to j. Okay, good. So uh, we have one more equation, which is the easiest one. And let's move on with that. OK, that's nice. So what is this? Vc minus Vb divided by j plus Vc divided by 1 is equal to 0. OK, so what about Vb? OK, minus 1 over j, so it is j, Vb. That's great. So what is Vc? Vc, if you remember, it's equal to 1 over j plus 1, it is minus j plus 1. Okay, 1 minus j, vc is equal to 0. Okay, so I really recommend you to check your results in the impedances because of the minuses and j's, it, things can get confused. So 1 is okay. So in the vc, I have 1 over j, uh, and 1 over j becomes minus j. Okay, that's great. So what are we going to do? We simply set up the system of uh, equations in a matrix form. Okay. Like this. So what is VA? 2 plus J. That's great. What is VB? Minus 1. What is VC? 0. Okay, that's great. VA is minus 1. VB is 1. VC is J. Okay, that's great. And finally, 0. J, 1 minus J. Okay, so the, we have the VA, VB, VC. It is equal to. 1, 0, 0. 
Okay, that's great. So let's look at the results. So 2 plus j here, minus 1 minus 1, 1 j, 0 j, 1 minus j. Let's check the result. Okay, it should be correct, I hope. I think, yes, it's correct. As you can see, this is the uh, matrix equation. So what are you going to do is, uh, in order to find the VA, VB, VG in the MPLS domain, you take the inverse of this and multiply with this uh, technically uh, vector on the right side. You can also write uh, technically convert this form in the magnitude and phase domain, which will look like this, okay? You simply look at the magnitudes, you look at the phase, you can write that, okay? Some calculators and some uh, computing systems uh, can work both in the phasor domain and also uh, Cartesian domain. And in general, it's your preference. Uh, as you know from the previous lectures, Sometimes uh, polar coordinates, sometimes uh, Cartesian coordinates uh, is easier for some computation. And sometimes you may need to convert from one uh, coordinate to the other to make your computation easier. And you can transform back and uh, compute your final results.